Hi, I'm Paul O'Brien, the author of a new product called the Visionary I Ching Cards, which is the latest incarnation of my creative work around the I Ching, which started as the inventor of I Ching software in 1989. The first product was a product called Synchronicity, which had floppy disks for the Macintosh, and it was the very first divination software ever published. Since then, we've had an ebook version and we've had an app version, and now we have the Visionary I Ching cards being published by Beyond Words Publishing, the same publishing house that published my book, Intuitive Intelligence which actually has a chapter on divination, specifically a chapter on the I Ching. Okay, so now we have this brand new product, the I Ching, Visionary I Ching Cards. And it consists of a deck and a guidebook. And it's the newest and arguably the most entertaining way to consult the I Ching. So how do we consult the I Ching? And what is it for? Well, it's a form of divination, which means it exists to stimulate your intuition, to think outside the box around a problem that logic can't handle. And there's a lot of problems in life that logic can't handle that are pretty important. Things in the area of relationships, timing, negotiating strategies. There's a lot of dilemmas or decisions that we need to make. Logic maybe can help, but it can't really handle the whole thing. And so we have to engage our intuition. And in the book, Intuitive Intelligence, I talk about how the I Ching can help you do this. So if you were going to give yourself an I Ching reading, which I'm gonna do right now, the first thing you would do would be to write down whatever your issue or question or dilemma might be. And I've written down, coping with the pandemic. And then you would shuffle the cards, and I've already shuffled these cards, but I'm gonna do a little more. While I'm thinking about life during the pandemic and how best to cope with quarantine. So I shuffle the cards, and like I said, I've already shuffled them a lot, and you can shuffle them as much as you want, and you just, while you're shuffling them, focus on whatever your issue or question is. And then when you're done shuffling the cards, you can spread them out and we're gonna pick two cards. Now each card represents one of the 64 hexagrams of the I Ching. Each hexagram is an archetype. The first card we pick will represent the present situation. And the second card we pick is called the future card. And it represents where things might go if we pay attention to the advice and wisdom of the I Ching as presented in the present card. So, I think about my issue, put my hands on the cards, and let go of caring about whatever card I might get. I am dedicated to the truth and understanding and making the best decisions that I can make based on reality. So when I get into a centered place and I let go of attachment to any particular reading, I pick my first card. And in this case, I got the card 49, Revolution. Okay, lake above, fire below. Okay, so I might write down that I got number 49 for the present. Now I'm gonna pick my future card, still thinking about coping with the pandemic. And I got the card number four, youthful folly, mountain above, water below. So I got revolution turning into youthful folly, number four. And I write that down. And then, and I'm not gonna go through the whole thing right now, but I can look these things up in the guidebook. And if I look carefully at the difference between youthful folly and revolution, 
I can see that there's quite a few changing lines. Just a massive amount of changing lines. In fact, every single line is a changing line. I've never had that before. I've been doing the I Ching since 1970, and I've never had one where every line was a changing line, which means there's a massive amount of change in the process and all of these lines. And so I would look it up, uh, number 49 in the book, uh, Revolution. And I would look at the changing lines and it's gonna be one or some combination of those six changing lines. And I'm not gonna go through it all today, but this is about a period of revolutionary change that turns into with the card Youthful Folly. And Youthful Folly basically is like the, um, it's like the Fool card in Tarot. It, it, it connotates innocence in a kind of a, a playfulness or foolishness for that matter. So I would spend a lot of time reading those two cards and especially the changing lines and getting a sense of what the cards have to say for me today. So and that's basically a snapshot of how you would do an I Ching reading using the visionary I Ching card.